Hello and welcome. For this patch, I start with a ramp top. Add a constant chop. And set the resolution for the ramp. I need two channels. For resolution X. And resolution Y. Set it to whatever you want. I set it to 500. Use these numbers for the resolution of your ramp. Make a copy from your ramp and from its parameters, change the type to vertical. Now add a noise top. I will adjust the parameters later. Now add reorder top. and connect these three. Ramp 1 to input 1, ramp 2 to input 2, and the noise to input 3. Go to the parameters of the reorder, and change the output red to 1, output green to input 2, and output blue to input 3. Now I have this image. I want to use it to create a texture, to do that, I need to render this top. To create particles with this image, go to SOP and add SOP. And enable the add points. Then add a convert SOP. Change the convert to particles per points. Right click on the output. Add a geometry. Add camera. Add a constant material and assign it to this geometry. Go to the geometry parameters, instance tab, and enable instancing. Create a null from the reorder. And use it for the instancing. RGB for the translation. And render top. Now if I move the camera, I have this random image. I want to create a texture from it. First I want to set the resolution. I have to find the proper view for my texture. Something like this. And also I want to animate the noise. With animating the Z axis of translate. With ABS time per seconds. Multiplied by a small number. Like 0 0.05 I think it's good enough for now.
add a null after the render. For the main geometry, add a sphere SOP. and turn it to a geometry, add geometry, camera, and render. for the first render. That would be the texture. Go to the parameters, change the geometry to each geometry, and do it for the second render. Also set the camera. So I want to add a Fong material and assign it to the sphere geometry. Now for the maps. Use this null for the column map. To make it visible, add the light. Adjust the light however you want. Let's leave it like this for now. And I will adjust this. After some processes. After the render. Add a feedback loop. Add feedback. Level. Add these together. And set the target for the feedback. And decrease the opacity. Now this is my shape. After that add a level. And increase the contrast slightly. Get an out top for the preview. Now go to the light and change it however you want. But now I have to decrease the opacity a little more. Okay, I think it's beautiful enough for now. Go to the fine material parameters. Go to rim. Enable the rim light. Set a color. As you want. The red one for example. Increase the SRX. Move the center.
add another rim light. Enable it and change the color. Again adjust the parameters. I want to increase the level a little. And I have to go to the last level and increase the contrast. To remove these feedback tails. Now there is one problem I have to solve. That is, if I move the camera for the sphere. I can find seams. It's because of the texture. Is not properly projected on the geometry. To resolve that have a texture SOP after the sphere. Go to the texture type and change it to equidistant azimuth, fisheye 180. and change the projection axis if needed. Instead of increasing the feedback and increasing the contrast, you can go to the first of the patch and increase the resolution to something like 1000 by 1000. Now I have more particles in my texture and it's visible better. You also can add a noise SOP here, after the sphere, decrease the amplitude, decrease the roughness to zero, increase the period, or leave it however you want, so it has a beautiful animation. You can increase the details of the sphere. Adjust the parameters as you want. And this is my visual for now. Thank you for watching. Bye.